So welcome um, to our 2018 organic production uh, meeting. Today we're going to cover lots of uh, different things. We're going to talk about dairy, we're going to talk about grain, we're going to talk about vegetables and poultry. Um, so my name is Jenny Rhodes. I work for the University of Maryland Extension. I'm the county ag agent here in Queen Anne's County. And this is Nate Richard. Nate uh, is a county ag agent in Kent County. And Shannon Dill is here. Shannon's from Talbot County. So if you need anything, um, holler at us today. So first I want to say um, some thank yous. The only reason we're able, well, one of the reasons we're able to do this is, where's Michelle? Where'd he go? Did he, he's still out? Anyway, Michelle um, Cavagelli, Michelle works for the USDA ARS Beltsville, and he is a soil scientist there. He does lots of research, um, writes lots of grants, and in the grant, there is an, always an outreach um, component of that grant. So that's extension. Our job is to take research-based information and get it out to the public. So we're lucky that we get to be included uh, on those grants. And we, we, it's, a lot, it's a partnership, which is very important. We've worked with NRCS, um, the, of course, USDA, uh, Maryland Department of Ag um, also. And then today we're also, Bill Sissel is here from the University of Delaware Cooperative Extension. So we're um, also partnering um, with them. And then, of course, Chesapeake College. So, as you know, before we've had it in the theater. So I thought, well, we didn't have a lot of people in 2016, so we're going to move it to a more quaint room. So we're going to be really quaint today. So, <laughs> so one's too big, one's too small, but we'll we'll figure that out um, as we go. So I was looking back uh, last year. So we have been doing this for 13 years, which is um, pretty exciting. And probably um, Luke and Allison uh, Howard were probably the main, I think, inspiration to help along with um, Dr. Michelle Cavagelli to, um, to get this started and, and to move on. And Bill Mason was probably um, one of my, um, I think I did see him somewhere this morning. There he is, Mr. Bill. So, um, so those are my inspirations uh, to do those things and, and get this information out. And a lot of other farmers, too. The Fries um, were certainly at those first meetings that, that we started. And I believe our first meeting, we might have started out with a panel um, discussion also. So besides the science, I think it's really important that we learn from each other. So today we've tried to build in some networking um, opportunities. So my challenge to you is to meet a new farmer and talk about his operation and, you know, learn things that you can bring back to your uh, operation. And of course we have some sponsors today. So thank you um, to all the sponsors. We have um, Anchor Ingredients, um, Dobler Organic Seeds, Farm Credit, uh, Lee Maryland, Homestead Farms, uh, Mason's Heritage, the Maryland Food Bank, um, the Queen Anne Soil Conservation District, uh, the USDA uh, Northeast Sustainable Ag Research and Education, uh, USDA, the National Ag Statistics, and Willard Agra. So uh, make sure that you say uh, thank you to them. Uh, today, also, uh, when you came in, we're offering certified crop advisor credits. So if you're a certified crop advisor, you can get credits. And then for Maryland and Delaware, we're doing things a little bit different because we've got some breakout sessions. So take, um, whether you're Maryland or Delaware or, or both, you need credits for nutrient management. Take this sheet. Check off which ones you attend. Put your name and your um, certification number on, and you can give that back to Nate or I or Shannon uh, at the end of the day. So we have Maryland and Delaware uh, nutrient management credits for that. So I think that's all the housekeeping. Oh, bathrooms um, right out on the other side of this uh, block wall. If we do happen to have, um, sometimes they do have fire drills in this room because this is a higher education center. So um, we have to kind of, we can exit out of either door here, but we go um, back to the left and out into the field. I've been instructed. So we'll make sure that we lead you out if there is a fire drill. Hopefully there won't be, but we'll see. You never know. Um, also going on today, um, Shannon will be doing some entrepreneurial uh, coaching today. So if you have an idea, you're just in you know the beginning stages, or you know maybe you want to grow your business. Um, Shannon, we have some great resources, and you just want to talk to somebody. You know when you talk, you get ideas. So she'll be doing um, coaching today. So see her. Uh, she'll be doing it from 10 to 1:30. So see her, and um, you can do some chatting with her. So. Um, 
So we are going to get an official um, welcome from an organic farmer that's been um, doing organic production. I don't even how, how, know how long, but she can tell you. Uh, Marion Fry is here from Farrow Hill Farms in Kent County, and Marion also serves on the um, Ag Commission, and she represents organic. So I thought it would be good for you to hear for her first thing this morning. So Marion, thanks for being here. Thanks, Jenny. Good morning, everybody. It's great to see the room full, and we've been doing it enough years that it's great to see the room filled with familiar faces. Our theme, and what I want you to keep in mind today, is RIM. Now, you know, we use acronyms for everything. So today's theme, RIM, is reliable, intentional, and motivated. We need to be sure that as organic farmers, we are what we say we are. I was really disappointed last fall in November when the NOP uh, met in Florida and they voted to reaffirm that hydroponics qualify for certified organic. I felt that that was a blow to um, most organic farmers, and it makes me feel that at the local level, at the level of your farm, you have to be uh, proactive in being sure that the public that you meet, who is increasingly your partner in production, whether or not you want the public to be your partner, that the public knows that you are reliable, that you can be counted on to, rep your, to represent yourself uh, completely honestly. And also that the product that you are representing is reliable in the market, that you are a consistent supplier. You can, um, you can lose customers by being in the market one day and then out of the market two weeks later and then back in the market. So part of the reliability is do you have consistency of product? The I in RIM is intentional. More and more there is development pressure and we know especially here on the Eastern Shore that as people drive past your farms, it looks like land waiting to be built upon. We need to be intentional about maintaining our farmland, that once it's gone, we are now seeing in cities some land reclaimed for agriculture, but large parcels of production agriculture once lost seldom go back into agricultural production. And it is amazing to me when people are talking about land issues that food production seems to be incidental. They will talk about um, location of land, uses of land, but the fact that we depend upon our agriculture to feed our domestic population just seems incidental. That's a piece I don't get. And that's a, the place where I feel farmers have to be really intentional now, that it's time for us to start thinking about, in the same way there have been plans created to maintain greenways across uh, the shore, we need to be intentional in our country about where's our agricultural land going to be? I maintain that every region of the country needs to have viable agriculture because that is the first line of homeland security. The ability of a nation to feed itself from its domestic agricultural production. So if you have not been uh, vocal with your neighbors, with your local government, with your state and federal representatives, even if you think, oh, I hate that, I don't want to be involved in politics, that's a luxury we can no longer afford. 
afford. We really need to uh, get out there and be talking about why it's important to have agriculture. And the third part is of RIM is motivated. That's the purpose of the conference today, to have lots of different speakers, to keep your engines tuned up, um, to get you going with some new ideas. So we move from this winter weather that is, uh, we've got a few hints of spring, a few false starts. I drove behind an old pickup that did not turn in here, but an old pickup coming from Chestertown today, and the motor was not in tune. So it would go along, and then there'd be a, a putt, 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 putt. And I felt like, OK, we need to be a more finely tuned engine, both in our individual farms and as a group. So in your networking, um, there's lots of opportunity in the room to learn new things about agriculture. Your farm now might not look the way it's going to look in five years. You might not be in the same location. You might not be growing the same thing. You might have some greater opportunity. That greater opportunity might start in the room today. So by all means, meet the people at your table talk to people that you don't know, find out what else is out there, and keep in mind today's theme is RIM, reliable, intentional, and motivated. Thank you very much.